Hey guys, Dave here from the Apple Junkies 101, and today I'm going to show you how to triple boot your Mac with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Okay, so first things first, um, what I would do is I would go to uh, the Linux website, all right, um, just type in Ubuntu or whichever one you want to boot into, all right, go to the download site here and download it it's going to download a uh, ISO file which you can burn uh, you're going to need to burn it onto a CD all right um, it's going to be it's already going to be a bootable it's, al it's already formatted and everything to be bootable so you all you have to do is just download and burn it all right and the next thing what you want to do is you're going to go to uh, the Google and type in refit all right and basically what refit is is an e in the EFI boot menu kit which is a custom bootloader all right and what you want to do is you want to go to the latest version which is 0 0.13 here and just download it once you download it uh, just install it and once you install it it's gonna be already on your computer no worries then next thing what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, finder menu up here all right you want to go to go and you want to go to utilities and then what you want to do is you want to go to your disk utility manager and then what you want to do is you want to go into your main hard drive internal hard drive and click on partition all right and then basically what you want to do is you want to click on your main hard drive here and then click the uh, plus sign which is going to add a partition and then basically what you want to do is you want to you can name it whatever you want because it's going to be changed uh, when we when we get you know later on in the video um, and a pretty decent size um, will be 10 gigs um, you could do a little bit less you could do a little bit more which, whichever is up to you and then just hit apply and then that's going to um, one thing I forgot to mention you do have to have boot camp installed with Windows already before you go ahead and uh, add another f uh, file partition alright so I'm assuming that you guys uh, know enough if you're looking at this video uh, and want Linux uh, to be able to uh, know how to boot camp uh, install boot camp on your your Mac alright so once that's done uh, also I'm sorry when you form you format it you want to format it to the MS DOS uh, fat file system don't worry it's gonna be changed alright so once that's done um, Oh, a quick tip I forgot if if this doesn't work if, if you if you're not able if something comes up where you need to verify the disk or is not able to do it you are gonna have to uh, erase and reformat and reinstall your Mac OS uh, for this to work uh, it, it happened with me it wouldn't work so I just reformatted and installed uh, OS uh, over again alright so once that's done and you burned your CD um, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, insert the CD and then you're going to restart and I'm going to show you that in one second. Alright, so I just inserted the CD, the uh, Ubuntu CD there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to restart. Okay, so now you have the Mac, you have the boot camp windows, and then you have the Linux CD. So what you want to do is you want to click on the Linux CD, burning tool that you wish. Alright, now it's going to ask you, it's going to give you some choices here, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to hit the try Ubuntu without any change to your computer, so all it's going to do is it's going to... Uh, boot into your onto uh, from the CD itself and this will take a couple minutes all right after about five minutes it's done booting up finally all right so now what you gotta do is um, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click on the install Ubuntu 9.10 all right, and what you're going to do is you are going to click English, 
hit forward. All right, pick your uh, geographical location. Hit forward. All right, and what you want to do is wherever, depending on where you're at, um, you want to choose your keyboard input, which is USA. So I'm just going to leave that, and we're going to click forward. Okay, now it's setting up partitioner. Now remember, you partitioned that FAT file um, for 10 gigs, so it should be pretty easy to uh, to see here. All right, so now you're coming up with the prepare uh, disk space uh, install utility here. Basically, what you want to do is you want to go. It's going to tell you. It's going to ask you where do you want to put Ubuntu. You, uh, it's going to give you a choice uh, to install them side by side uh, between each startup. All right. Um, it's going to ask you to erase, use the entire disk, which you don't want to do. Um, use the largest continuous free space, and then specify partitions manually. So that's what you want to do. You want to hit manually. Oh, sorry. My fault. All right, and we are going to click forward. Now it's scanning disks. Now, what you want to do is you want to look at uh, the, you have all the partitions here in different um, file formats. Um, and the one that you want to, the, the easiest way to, ver to verify uh, which one is which is the one that says, because you did uh, 10 gigs, uh, look at the size here, which is 1,000 megabytes. All right, we're going to go ahead and click that. Okay, we're going to go forward. Please correct. Uh, oh. I already did it, so <laughs> may not let me. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this would be this would be the next step. Um, so basically, it says the new partition. Just leave the partition size alone. Okay. Where it says use as right here, you want to go down and you want to click the ext journaling file system that's what you want okay and then on the bottom here where it says mount point you want to go ahead and hit the forward slash which is the root okay once you do that you just click forward and it's gonna ask you um, and let me go ahead and show you what it looks like once you're all done All right, so now you see you have the Mac and, and uh, Windows. You want to go over to the, the Windows side, and then the Grub Loader, Ubuntu's Grub Loader, will now uh, boot up. Grub Loading. Okay, now you have your options here. Okay, you have Windows 7 down there. And then you have the Linux right up here. All right, you want to go ahead and hit enter. All right, just type in my password. Okay, as you see here, I have I have a custom uh, theme. All right, I have Compass Fusion. All right, there you go. All right, so as you can see here, I have uh, the on little dock going on over here. All right, I have the wobbly windows. I uh, let me see if I can show you graphic accessories. Got a clock, a little widget here. It's pretty cool. All right, so uh, PM me. And I'll get right back to you. All right. If this worked for you, please comment, rate, subscribe. All right. So Dave here from the Apple Journal One.